Hi everyone, my name is Sumaya Ahmed and I am the Virtual Content Specialist for 7th grade science. In this video I will be reviewing how to use the website legendsoflearning.com where they have online educational games for teachers and students. So according to uh, the Learning Council, which does research and context on the digital learning experience, they have an article which states that the core concept behind game-based learning is teaching through repetition, failure, and accomplishments of goals. And the video games created on this website are built on this principle. So game-based learning takes the same concept of uh, repetitions and achieving goals and using it to teach content in a curriculum. So students work towards a goal, choosing actions and experiencing the consequences of those actions. They actively learn and practice the content, and this is a great way of differentiating um, the lesson instead of just passive learning or traditional learning methods. Um, and you can use these game-based um, resources throughout any point in your unit. Um, I like using them towards the end of the units, um, just a nice so it's a nice way to wrap up uh, the unit with a fun game um, and to get students motivated. So as you can see, this is their home page. You can create a free account. All the resources are free for students, parents, and teachers. And they have a lot of resources for teachers, for school and district administrators, and parents. Um, and over here, as you can see on top, they have, um, you know, um, even more resources. You can even go on their blog and look at articles or helpful articles. You can look at the remote learning guide, STEM competitions, and summer learning resources, which is nice if parents are interested in something to give to their students during the summer, um, where they can still engage in a fun game and learn content. Um, so they have over 2,000 curriculum-aligned math and science games created to engage students and assist teachers using hybrid learning, blended learning, and distance learning models. And I also use this for my in-person classes as well. So I already have a free account and I'm going to log in. Okay, so once students go to legendsoflearning.com, they can just click on um, the student account and they uh, every, every teacher has a code. So all they have to do is just add it, um, type in this code and they will have access to all the games that you assign to them. So this is the home page. You can create an assignment where um, they are standard aligned simulations, um, games, or assessments, and you can assign it to your classes. You can do a quick play which you, where you choose an, a, a standard and they will look for games for you. Um, here on the side, you have, um, assign, you have a bar for assignments. You have student groups. You have reports. Um, of student progress because as students sign in with their information you get to monitor their progress as well um, and you can browse lessons lesson plans and so on okay so let's say you want to search for a game you can just click on the search bar let's say you want to search for a game based on climate change and there are 12 games based on climate change and there's a topic they have topics where they have a compilation of uh, different games all based on that same topic okay so let's say if you click on well first first glance you'll see that there's a lot of information here it's an instruct they tell you what type of game it is so if it's an instructional game or, and or a quiz game okay so they have different types it tells you the time that it should take and of course this is different for our, for every students in your classes um, they tells you the rating so what's great about this resource is that after every single game whether um, a student plays it or a teacher plays it they just ask a few questions on how you would rate the game okay and uh, this is great because as you're choosing the game you can see the rating and you can choose the game accordingly okay um, so this game you know 22 teachers rated it and 3,321 students rated it and these are the ratings okay so you would want to choose a game that is highly rated um, and once you click on the game, okay, it gives you even more information. Um, and then it says in this, you know, it says in, um, the overview. So it says in this game, the Dodo will try to make a comeback based on your performance during the game. Um, and uh, you will have to use knowledge to complete a variety of interactive activities like building a food chain and pollinating a flower. It is ideal for grade six, seven, eight. It, 
should um, last 10 minutes and here it tells you uh, if it's supported by um, the device. So here it supports iPads. It tells you the teacher review, the student review, you can write a review. Um, you could try the game before you add it to your assignments. You can get links, get the link to the game, so you can just give the link to the students to sign on and do it. And over here, this is very helpful because you can look at the difficulty level, you can look at the content integra integration, so how well the content is integrated into this game, um, the developer, and the instruction. So what I like are these before the game and after the game discussion questions. Um, as you'll see, sometimes it will take the game time to load. So these are just some great questions you can ask students while the game is loading. Okay, so these are um, questions that you can add either on a digital discussion board or you can ha um, print out uh, a handout, a guided handout, which they can um, use while they're playing the game. Here on the side, there are the main concepts, all the concepts related to this game and the key vocabulary words. Okay, and that's just a general information about the game. Um, so once you click on a game, it will look like this, and you can click start. As you can see, there's nice music, it tells you the instructions. And it goes on like that and it's a whole game so here you it's a different game where you have to find different um, computers to unlock certain um, certain clues and they ask questions along the way on climate change so that's just one example and as you saw I just exited the game and here are the um, questions for the rating so how would you rate this game um, and so on okay so that's very helpful information for the teachers um, and students. And just to give you an idea of how the reports would look like, um, you could click on view the reports by standard. And this was just a game that I did um, that I did before. I'm not going to scroll down even further because the students' names will come up, but here it tells you the standard and it tells you the total answer correct, the percent correct, 50%, and it tells you um, how students performed. Okay, You could also download the reports. You can look at it by assignment, by student, and so there are many different ways you could look at the reports. And so this was an overview of Legends and Learning, Legends of Learning, and to summarize, it is a website where you can find thousands of game-based resources. Um, and as students go through these game-based resources, they gain um, a much more deeper understanding of the con content because they are more engaged. Um, they take ownership of the material, which helps improve retention. And it combines different approaches um, and goal-based learning practices uh, which address different styles of learning. So it's a great way to differentiate your lessons. And I hope you all try it and enjoy. Thank you for watching.